Hey everybody, welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I am pretty excited because I'm going to actually put the CNC router to use. Yes, I'm going to make something with it. If you've been watching for the past nine months, you know that I've been working on this full-size CNC router behemoth. And in the last video, I got it finished and it's ready to start making stuff. So I figured what I need to do, first of all, is make an enclosure to put all of the electronics in. I need to clean up this mess of electronics that I've got, so I figured that would be a perfect first project for the CNC router, and that would be to make an enclosure to put all of the CNC router electronics into. Now, if you remember, I pulled that three quarter inch sheet of plywood out of the corner of the shop and I put it on the frame of the CNC machine and I used that as a workbench during the build of the machine. Well, during that whole build process, that piece of plywood got dirty, it got beat up and scratched. So I've put it back on the CNC machine, but this time I'm going to use it to make the enclosure for the electronics. All right, so I got the enclosure all made up and you're probably wondering what these windows are on the front and back and also these metal plates. Well, I had to do this because I want to use these aviation connectors and these cable glands like what I used on the plasma cutter and they will not work on the plywood because the plywood is too thick and you can't get much more than an eighth of an inch thickness on these because if you drill a hole and you try to put the nut on there, the plywood is just way too thick. So what I'm going to do is just mount these plates on the inside like so. And you see the plates are much thinner than the plywood. And then I can mount the cable glands, the aviation connectors, any switches or anything else I need to on this plate and then mount it on here like so. And then I'll get a clean look and I can use the plywood case along with these type of fittings. I also cut this small square here. This is for the cool air to go in and then I'm just going to cover that with one of these fan shrouds that I 3D printed and this is the same fan shroud that I used on the CNC plasma cutter. And the round hole is for a fan and that will just go on the back side and it will blow all of the hot air out and I will just put the cover on like so.
All right, so I've got the enclosure all finished, but I do need to do a couple of things. I do need to slap a coat of paint on it, and I thought I had a latch that I could put on here so that the door would stay shut, but I can't find it, so I guess I'm going to have to go purchase another one. So I just want to take a break for a minute here and show you guys these switching power supplies because I do get a lot of questions about these power supplies that I use on the CNC projects and they are a little bit different from what you may be used to because the output of this power supply is adjustable. It can be adjusted between 0 and 48 volts and you adjust the voltage by turning this potentiometer right here. But if you have this mounted into an enclosure and you want to adjust the voltage without having to open that enclosure, it does have another feature, and that is an external potentiometer can plug in to this little spot right here. And the power supply actually comes with a little potentiometer that you can use. And I get these power supplies from banggood.com, and like all of the other components that I have used in this build, there's a link to it in the description of the video. So other than a few little cosmetic things like a coat of paint on the frame, this machine is pretty much done. And I know it has taken me forever to get it done. I've been working on this project pretty much all of 2020, and I'm ready to move on to more exciting projects. So if you like the video, if you like the project, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.